Okay. And again, these are not fantastic figures. Um, Berks County, 72 cases. Lebanon and uh, Lehigh are, are tied with seven cases each, or nine cases each, I'm sorry. And, and, and we're, we're pretty high up the, the food chain there as far as reported cases are concerned and, and with regards to yesterday's statistics. Um, and I, I want to bring that to your attention because I, I don't think this problem is over. I think it's going to continue to get worse for some period of time. Fortunately, we're at the end of the school year right, right now, so the schools, the kids are, are being released from school, and, and the schools don't have to make a decision whether or not they should, you know, close down the schools or shut down certain classes and all that kind of stuff. So we're kind of we kind of got a break in the in the, in the, the game here. But I, my my message to you and and you know, to the DOH is that more information needs to be forthcoming. We need to have good, solid, positive feedback and information from DOH to the appropriate people. Is that we have several issues on the floor right now and the first one I brought up right away is, um, I understand <coughs> that EMA needs the information I understand that you're a health officer and you need the information however the task force was never charged with this duty and that's issue number one we have an avian flu task force not a pandemic flu task force I was never asked, I don't know if Commissioner Carpenter was ever asked to change that status of that particular task force. And until that happens, that task force has no jurisdiction or authority to, to represent Lebanon County. And then I heard things like, um, this is not a one-man show. Well, there's nine people on the task force and myself. I don't think the task force has jurisdiction. Well, multiple ways. There's also the the school physician for the, the Lebanon School District. He's a county coroner. He's the, the prison physician. At this point, at this point, I don't think the flu um, that we're experiencing in Lebanon County, at least, is worse than any other flu that comes along. I think that it's being addressed. I, you know, I can't second guess what the school district did. I think if Marianne Bartley needed something, she would have called me. I saw her this morning. I was at a government affairs meeting before I came here. She didn't say one word. And I don't think we should be exploiting the situation. I think we should be working together as a team. So the natural progression with, with the pandemic would be to use the same committee, I would think. I, but then uh, we need to discuss that. And I, it hasn't I agree been with that discussed. Part, yeah, but, but I think that would be the natural thing. Who is appoint the same committee pandemic and Avian flu task force, and then we need to move forward. Do you want to make a motion of that effect? I mean, I might, I might be wrong speaking. I turn here, uh, Commissioner Stoller and, and Dr. Yoakum, you've been on the task force longer than I. But I believe the reason that the task force was named the Avian flu task force at the time was because that was believed to have been the next right. pandemic. And here we are, a couple of years later, and in fact, it's not. Right. Well, we had talked about, you know, in committee about, you know, changing it to the pandemic task force. We didn't change it. We had talked about doing it. Right. Right. Well, I mean, from what? So why did we uh, do it? Are you okay name it the pandemic task force? I'd be okay with that. Did you make a motion out of fact? I move. Do we have a second? I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay, two to one. It's now the pandemic task force. <clears throat> I'm going to make a motion then that Dr. Yoakum is the spokesperson for the task force. So anything that comes through channels will go to Dr. Yoakum because it's a health issue and he will be our official spokesperson as the chairman. And in fact, we'll make whoever the chairman would be. I thought Jamie was our spokesperson. He is in county matters, but we're talking about the task force. I, I'm just making a motion to do that. Well, wouldn't that be a task force matter? What are you talking about? If you have a, a spokesperson for your task force, he's not the spokesperson for the county other than as a health officer. No. Jamie is our PIO. If, if we make him the spokesperson for the task force to speak on these pandemic issues, I don't think Jamie's qualified. Right, exactly. He's a nice guy, but yeah, forget Dr. Yoakum's a physician. He's a guy with your You understand? <laughs> <laughs> and we want a physician giving out information. The public 
will respect information given by a physician much more so than they will by our PIO that normally well, doesn't maybe do Maybe pandemic that. information officer. That be PIO. <laughs> I guess you could call it that. So that's my motion. That Dr. Yoakum is the official county spokesperson for any pandemic uh, information, and that anything should be directed to him, and he will uh, relate whatever information is needed for the public. Do I have a second to that motion? Second. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Okay. Two to one. Now we got that result. So at least we know where we're headed. <laughs>